This is how I passed the NPTE on the first attempt, and I will give you five tips at the end of this video so you can pass the NPTE on your first try as well. How's it going YouTube fam? China, Doctor of Physical Therapy coming to you live. Today we're gonna to talk about how I passed the NPTE on the first attempt. And at the end of the video, I'll round it up to about five tips so it'll help you pass the NPTE on your first attempt as well. So there's this test called the PEAT, right? This is a practice exam, very comparable to the actual boards. And the boards is also known as the NPTE. Basically, we took that in January this year. 2020, the last semester of school of my third year in PT school. The school provided it for us and they wanted us to take it right after our winter break. I'm not the type to really study on a break unless I absolutely have to. And the reason I do that is because people, we need to take breaks. We need to enjoy our time because ultimately I see things as we're working for the rest of our lives. I'm going to take advantage of the break as long as the peak wasn't impacting my actual grade, I didn't study, and that's really just the facts. I knew some classmates of mine were studying, but I did not study, and maybe I studied for a few days out of that break, just before I actually had to take the test. <laughs> so when we come back to school, we take the peak, and boom, I failed, okay? It was the worst score I've ever gotten on a test, I feel like. I didn't regret that. I won't say I regret it at all. I actually enjoyed my winter break. I had fun, I traveled a little bit, and I just felt the pee. So what? No, it wasn't that. I mean, it's not so what, but at the same time, it wasn't an eye opener. So it showed me where I was at, at that time, and I knew what I had to do. I had to get on the study. So. I started doing some light studying from February to April or the end of the semester because I was also in a clinical. We were in our final clinical during that time. And I also had the therapy ed book, which is a study guide type of book for the MPTE. And I took one test out of that before we took our second practice test for the school. When I took that test, I was like, oh, my heart hurt. I failed that one as well. I made the same score almost that I made on the first peak. After I've done some studying, I was just like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Man, so this was maybe a week before we took the practice exam for the school again, the peak. And I'm just discouraged. So then we take the peak again. I'm just thinking, man, I'm probably gonna get the same score I got in January. I take the peak, I get the score, Boom, my score went up maybe, I, I looked at the percentages at that time, so my score went up maybe 10%, which was huge for me. I was like, oh my gosh. So my studying has kind of paid off a little bit. So the light studying, cool, did that. But therapy ed tests, oh my gosh, they're difficult. That's that for the P, the second P. I get a better score, still didn't pass, but hey, it's some progress, right? So after that happened, the second P, Basically, we were pretty much done with all school work. So I started my heavy studying in like May. And heavy studying consisted of a strict schedule, me attending live classes. And the classes that I attended were Final Frontier classes, okay? That was the main thing that I focused on during my two months of studying and two to three months of studying. Well, I stayed on their schedule as well. So they had many quizzes, many tests, everything. They had readings for us to do and all kinds of stuff. But I stayed on those classes, you guys. That is key. That was key for me, at least. Um, if it was a live class that was later on in my, my time zone, I would make sure to wake up early the next morning to watch that class as well because I did not want to get behind on any of those. So made sure I stayed on the live classes and stayed up to date with their schedule that they put forth for us. Other than that, I did a little bit of PT final exam. It was helpful too. It was helpful for me in certain areas where I would just look at some of their videos that they spoke on certain topics. So I didn't follow their live classes. And the only reason I didn't, because I'm pretty sure it's good. I've heard a lot of reviews that that is actually a good um, guide as well to help you pass the MPTE. But the only reason I didn't look at their live classes was because I was focused on the Final Frontier classes. I really recommend 
that you stick to one thing for the majority of your studying and then just dab into everything else just a little bit if you need it and i also looked into the score builders book i had therapy ed but i looked in the score builders book because the score builders book breaks things down a lot better and it's not as difficult to understand versus the therapy ed book the therapy ed book has a lot of in-depth stuff and it's good it's really good but um i prefer to read out of the score builders book because it was very very easy to get so during this time i'm studying i'm following these live classes i'm taking my tests i had the one and done mentality I always had to remind myself one and done so it motivated me to stay on course stay on track for all the classes and all the tests that i had to take even though it could have been a little drain okay, so i took the test with final frontier of course but i also had the test for therapy ed remember that um the score builders book and also the pete exams so overall i took about 10 practice tests total that's that's a lot of practice tests you would say but i took one once a week up until my actual npte exam I will always review the answers. I will review the wrong ones, of course, make sure I know it very well and understand it. And I also reviewed my right answers because there are some answers that you might get right by chance. So you never know. And I just made sure that I would never miss those questions again on the next test. Like I said, I took 10 tests and I actually bought the second peak because remember our school bought the first one. There's only two that you can, um, you can purchase. So I bought the PEAT four weeks before my actual test. I took the practice exam four weeks before the test and I took the retired exam two weeks before the test so I could have the information fresh on my mind and just be able to use that test to compare it to the actual boards because everybody says that the PEAT is the most comparable to the NPTE. Okay, so make sure that you invest in that. I would definitely recommend it because it also boosts your confidence when you see that you pass the PEAT exams, okay? So yes, I was happy to see that I passed and it made me feel like, okay, I've been on the right track. I've been doing the right thing. Final Frontier had one more test. It was one week before the boards. I was like, uh, I just passed the PEAT. So do I want to take this Final Frontier exam and possibly hurt my confidence if I fail? But I did take the Final Frontier exam just to kind of see what I would get wrong on it. Um, I felt like that was the best thing to do because if I missed something on that exam, then that says it was something I didn't know. So I told myself I need to do that so then I can just learn everything that I don't know. And ultimately, I did pass the Final Frontier exam as well. So. It was, it was a happy day. <laughs> so then my exam date comes around July 28th, 2020 this year and take the test. It was scary, honestly, you guys. I felt like, man, I don't know a lot of this. I felt discouraged after I took the test a little bit. Like it was a tough time because we had to wait for a week after the test to see our scores. So after the week passed, boom, I saw that pass. So it was a relief. I was happy, but yeah, I realized that my studying actually paid off. So to wrap it up, I want to get into the five tips on how to pass the NPTE on your first attempt. Tip number one, make sure you stick to a structured schedule, okay? And stick to maybe one thing, one resource. I stuck to Final Frontier, made sure I stuck to their schedule, did their readings, their quizzes, tests, etc. And I dabbed into other things just a little bit as I needed to. Okay, I don't think you should overload on a lot of different resources because that could become overwhelming at times, I believe. So, tip number two, make sure you practice. Practice makes perfect, you guys. Take as many practice tests as you can get your hands on. Like I said, I took 10 of them and a lot of them, I didn't hit the target score or like I failed pretty much. And near the end of taking practice tests, I started seeing passing scores, hitting target scores all the time. So it's very important that you take as many practice tests as you can, okay? Tip number three, make sure that you review every question in those practice exams, okay? Even the ones that you got right, because there could be a possibility that you got that correct by chance. And then the ones that you got wrong, for sure, review. Make sure you know that information very well, all right? Tip number four, 
invest in the peak. The exam is very comparable to the boards. It'll actually give you a prediction of your score on the actual boards based on the score that you get on the peak. So it's a very great investment and I believe that it boosted my confidence a lot. And tip number five, stay motivated. Keep that mentality of one and done. Make sure that you pass. Don't get discouraged when you see some failing scores on some practice tests because in the end, it's gonna pay off because you know that you've studied and you're gonna start seeing higher scores on each exam as you take them, okay? So don't get discouraged. It happens to all of us. So those are the five tips to pass the MPTE on your first attempt. If you enjoy this content, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below how you feel about it. And if you have any questions, just drop them down below as well, and I will answer them as soon as possible. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you have a good day, and until next time, 